If you're a language student or a language teacher and you're interested in learning more about Quizlet, this is the video for you. I'm going to divide the video into three sections. In part one, I'm going to show you some of the really important settings if you're using it for language learning. Secondly, I'm then going to show you some brilliant ways of generating Quizlets uh, that's going to save you loads of time because you can actually do it very, very quickly. And thirdly, I'm going to show you some of the ideas that I've experimented with that have worked. Now, I've actually worked for Quizlet in the past. It was a long, long time ago, and I am a big fan of the technology. And as you'll see, I do use it very regularly. I will be focusing on the free tool. So if you want to use the free tool, this is going to be a great guide to how to use it. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it. Please comment on it. Please share it with other teachers and students. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. It'd be lovely to have more people subscribed. Let's get going. Let me just show you one of the ways that I use Quizlet. And there are several different ways. Now, one of the ways is just to obviously translate phrases. So what I've got, if I click through to the next phrase, I've got, I'm using flashcards here. Nie ma już okrągłej twarzy. Notice that it says the word or the phrase for me in Polish, which is super useful and I can repeat it as well. Nie ma już okrągłej twarzy. And then this is like, they, hasn't, they haven't got a round face. And then if I want to double check to see if I did get that right, or basically right, then I just click on it and it's going to tell me, yeah, no more round face. Great. And then I'll move to the next one. Ale z czasem jest coraz lepiej. Um, with times even better. Okay. So perfect. This is one of the ways I use it. But now what a lot of teachers and students don't realize is that you can have the audio like that. Okay. And you can set that up as well. And I'm going to show you now that because it's one of the most important settings. Also, what I'm going to show you is how did I make these cards? Because it actually took me just a few seconds to make these cards. And you'll see that I've actually got 14 Justyna cards. Okay. Musi biegać. okay. And you know, I, I made these cards literally in 20 seconds. So I'm going to show you that as well. Let's start by just going through a few basic settings. Now obviously you need to learn to make cards but I just want to show you a few settings once you've created them that you do need to think about. So if I click here and I've got this set of cards here. One thing that a lot of people don't realize is and I'm going to click on play flashcards because that's the most common one. I do use some of these other tools but I particularly use the flashcards because I like to hear the pronunciation. Now you have to actually turn the pronunciation on and what you need to do is come over to this button here and there are two things that I would suggest. I always like to have at the front Polish. So I like to see the sentence in Polish, try to work out the translation or the meaning, and then guess what it is, and then check on the other side. So in my case, the language that I'm going to learn, I'm going to choose here. And then the really important button, though, is to click on text to speech. You want to turn that on. Now, there's something else that you can do within that as well. If you click on the advanced settings, what I like to do, just going to scroll down, is to have text to speech in Polish, but to turn it off for English, because there's no point in me hearing the, the English, because obviously I'm using it for translation purposes. And so uh, I don't really need to hear that since that's a language I speak. Okay, and then click on restart flashcards. That, do Poznania. Okay. Um, you can't recognize her, for example, yeah? So this, is, this immediately gives you a few really interesting kind of ways of working in terms of language learning and obviously hearing the sentences and practicing them. Now, let's move over to actually making a few cards and then I'll also show you a few more features in Quizlet that could be interesting. Don't forget to click on the like button. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to generate cards. People think it's a very slow process. In fact, you can literally do it in a few seconds. Uh, Quizlet is a tool that I use a lot in my language learning, but there is actually another tool that I use even more when it comes to studying vocabulary. And if you want to watch that video, then I'll put that on the screen now. But let's look at some super fast ways of generating cards. So this is a really good way, super quick way. Watch this. I'm going to use Google Gemini. It's one of those kind of large language models, but you don't have to use Google Gemini. It's obviously available if you do have a Google account, but you can use ChatGPT. You could use Pilot. With Google Gemini, you can actually talk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Google Gemini and tell it to generate a set of cards for me. I'm then going to copy them and paste them immediately into Quizlet. That's how easy it is. Let me show you. Now I'm going to talk to Google Gemini in English. 
but I think you'll find that you can actually use lots of languages. So I'm going to click on this. Can you produce for me a set of flashcards? What I want is 10 different names for shops, typical shops in Polish. And I want a definition in Polish of the shop. Can you put that into a table for me? So I've got the shops on the left hand side and the definitions on the right. And I just need 10 shops and 10 definitions. So I click then to stop and then click again to send. And I'm hoping that Google Gemini is going to produce that for me. And the nice thing will be that if it does, and you need to tell it to put it into a table because you want to copy that table and literally paste it straight in. Now, I've asked it to do this in Polish for me, and it's done it very nicely, I can see. Okay. Brilliant. Now, what I've done here is I've not asked for a translation, but I could have done. I could have asked for a translation, but rather I've asked for a... Um, a kind of definition in Polish of that shop because my Polish is getting quite good now and it's really good for me to do that. Okay, now all I'm going to do, watch this, is I'm literally just going to copy that set of cards. Okay, copy them. And this is where the magic starts. Let's just jump over now to Quizlet. So I need to click out of those cards. So I just click there and that will bring you back to Justyna the beginning. And what we're going to do is we're going to click here now because we want to generate a new set of cards. So we're going to click flashcard set and generate, create yourself. And all you need to do is I'm going to write in the title as shops. Okay, and then I'm not going to worry about a description. I'm going to click on import. This is the magic button. And I'm just going to click here and I'm going to paste in all of those words that I've copied. Now, if I click on import now, you will see that I've now got myself a lovely set of cards with the name of the shop on one side, and then in my case, a uh, description of that shop in Polish. Remember, I could have asked for a translation, whatever you want, yeah, you can use this in so many different ways. Um, now, one little tip. Just click on the very first card, just so that it picks up the language, okay? And it's done that now. It's picked up that uh, it's, in, it's in Polish and Polish, okay? You need to do that. It just needs to kind of know what language it's gonna be working with. For some reason, when you make those cards, it doesn't do it automatically. Now, now the button that you wanna cr click on is Create. So click on Create, and that will kind of create your cards. You can, don't bother with this, obviously unless you do want to share it. And then what I want you to do is click on flashcards. And I want to read the definition first and I want the audio. So I'm going to go over to the settings and I'm going to select that I get the definition at the front. And then I'm going to click down to here and make sure that I put on text to speech. And in this case, I'm not going to change it, the text to speech. In fact, if I click on the advanced options, just to click here, we actually want to make sure that we've got both activated because this time we want to hear it. Both sides we want to hear. OK, um, and then click on restart flashcards. Now, hopefully, if I click on this button here now, I should be able to hear that in Polish. Sklep. Okay, Sklep Spożywski, I think it is in Polish. Sklep Spożywczy. Not bad. Spożywczy. Now you can see how hard it is to learn this language. That is a lovely idea, saves a lot of time, and in this case, it really means that I'm processing and using my Polish. Okay, really hope you liked that idea. And if you did, please click on the like button. Remember that you can use lots of combinations. So you can get Google Gemini, for example, to, to even do the beginning of the sentence and the end of the sentence, for example. The important thing is that you need to tell it to put it in a table because you want to copy that table and paste it straight into Quizlet. Now, I do have another way of generating content for Quizlet that I've made in another video that's very popular. I think we've had about 60,000 plays and it's all about the magic button 
in Google Translate. And if you don't know that, watch that on the screen now that you'll find that really, really useful. I'm gonna move on now and show you a few more tricks, uh, perhaps more creative ways of using Quizlet. And I'll give you a few more ideas. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on new chat in Google Gemini. I'm gonna do this in Google Gemini. When you see the idea, you'll realize that you could do this in lots of different ways, okay? But I just wanna show you one potential way of doing this activity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to talk to Google Gemini, and this time we'll, we'll do an activity in English. Can you write for me 10 sentences to kind of describe a typical day uh, in English. I'd like it in the English language and I'd like it to be uh, basically for a student of level B1 in English. So could you write 10 sentences of a typical day, you know, kind of talking about routine, but then could you also do this, rewrite the sentences a second time, but with the verb missing, so that I have to actually try to remember the verb. So could you put that into two columns for me? In column one, I want the complete sentence. And in column two, I want the same sentence, but just with the verb missing. Click on that button there, and now I'm gonna send it. Now I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that it's gonna do this for me. And then if it does, you'll kind of see another little idea that I use when I'm working with Quizlet. There's kind of various variations on this I do, but let's just see if it's worked first. Okay. All right, that seems to work pretty well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna copy those sentences, okay? Come up to here, and just gonna come over to Quizlet afterwards. I'm gonna click on, so we, we're gonna click on Create, because I'm gonna, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna click here and new set of flashcards. I'm gonna cl click Create them yourself. And we're gonna call this present simple. Uh, one minute, I've actually got a set of cards here. Uh, discard draft, yeah, let me just discard these dra these ones that was already produced, that's fine. Now, again, come back onto the import button and I'm gonna paste in the words, the click inside and then paste so hopefully now if i click on import what i'm now going to have is i'm going to have um the sentences twice okay remember you've always got to click on the top one that's going to generate the language it's done that for me and now i'm going to click on create now you might not like this idea i really like oh, i didn't give it a title so this is going to be sorry present simple present simple okay and click on create. Now, you can you could do this two ways, okay? Remember, we're gonna do the flashcards and we're gonna need to go to the settings. Now, you can start with the word and then try to see if you got it right. So I could say, I usually get up around 7 a.m. and then click it over and see if it's right. Okay, wake up around 7 a.m. and then move to the next one. That That's one way. But of course, I could do it the other way around. That is, I read the complete sentence first and I f then I try to memorize it, flick it over and then, you know, to see then if I can remember it, which is another way of working. Now, remember, click here, because you do in this particular case, and I'm gonna put the definition at the back. So I'm gonna put the term first. Okay, and I'm going to need to turn on the speech and we're going to want to make sure that it's actually working in, I'm imagining here that I want to learn English, so I've got both setters on, click on restart flashcards. One. So I usually wake up around 7am. So I love that, that it reads it out for me. Now I'm going to click here. One. I usually blank around 7am. I usually wake up around 7am. Two. Then I wash my face and brush my teeth. Two. Then I blank my face and blank my teeth. Love it. Okay. So what I like about this is I'm able to focus in this particular case on the verbs. Now, I often actually do these myself. I actually make them myself by just pasting in, you know, saving the, the sentences into, say, a Google Sheet twice. 
so that I've got them in one column and then in another and then delete the word in the second column and then paste it and put it into Quizlet. But you can do this, as you can see, very, very easily using Gemini as well. And this is the sort of thing I, I do. Another one I like, and I'll just explain it to you. Two. Just click it. Then I wash my face and brush my teeth. And what I do sometimes is I always delete the first word and the last. So when you flick it over to the other side, the first word is missing and the last word is missing. And I've kind of got to remember, okay, what's the complete sentence? And I like this because it's kind of not working at the word level, it's working at sentence level. And I'm hearing the language lots and lots. Okay, really hope you found that useful. And for the last time, I'm gonna say, please, if you can, click on the like button because it boosts my ranking on YouTube. If you want to follow my work or you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. That's my website. I specialize in videos for language teachers and language students. I show language teachers and students how to use technology in their teaching and their learning. There's loads of videos on the website. They're all free. Also, you can sign up to the newsletter. The newsletter, um, there is about 9,000 people on it now. And I send you basically an email once a week. And it's normally just one new video that I've added up onto YouTube. So it's a way of keeping up to date. I also let you know about any webinars or any courses I'm running, etc. Often the webinars are free as well. Um, the other thing is, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, you do get a mini 14-part course. I kind of send, send you a video every three or four days, basically focusing on the most useful or the most popular videos on my YouTube channel. And that can be a real eye-opener into different technologies and then things that are happening. Thanks ever so much, and I will leave a few more videos now on the screen that you might find useful.